friends. You caught me off guard. Gosh, let me get dressed. Okay, that's annoying. Um, did you guys know how absolutely impossibly hard it is to get one of these like structured shots of my face where I'm not holding it and like holding the camera and where I am stationary? It's near impossible. Like, geez, I'm like running out of daylight here. I really didn't think this is gonna take so long. So, we need to get this little rodeo started. Hi friends, welcome back. I am so excited about this video I am bringing to you today. It is something that I've wanted to do and it was actually my first video that you will never see. I'm gonna keep referencing back to this video until the end of time, but it was just really bad and I just didn't wanna start off on that foot so I just kind of like charged it as something, okay, I did this, I learned from it, but I'm not gonna showcase it, which I think is totally fine. So um, I have, since I've been back from New York, I feel like I've been kind of having my Depop on pause. I've been sending out orders, but I haven't really, you know, uploaded any new content, which I still have lots of items to upload. And so just to kind of like get me kickstarted, I decided to go thrifting yesterday, which you will see in another video. And um, I bought a bunch of really cool things just to refresh my shop, just to get me refreshed, get the people that, you know, follow me on Depop refreshed. And I'm gonna show you guys that in the form of a haul. I bet I'm gonna do this so wrong whenever I try to like edit this. So I'm super excited. So hey, you know what? I want this to be like also very casual. So why don't you go ahead and just pause me right now and join me with a delicious cup of tea or coffee or whatever you wanna drink. I mean, you could drink like whiskey. I mean, here it's almost five. So whatever you wanna drink and we're just gonna hang out. So let's do it. I'm like in a really good mood today, even though it took me forever to get dressed. And also, I just want to tell you guys backstory. <sighs> Yesterday, when I went thrifting, I like left the house, put my makeup on the car, and then I completely left my makeup bag in the trunk of the car. So today, I put on my makeup courtesy of all the makeup I never use. So I'm kind of proud of this look because while I feel like it doesn't translate as well in video, I mean, in person it's kind of cool kind of bomb.com and I think when I take my when I after this I'm going to take pictures of all these items on me to go ahead and just upload on Depop I feel like I'm gonna be looking fly also let's just talk about how suddenly I just became a cartoon character and I wear berets every single day like I have other things but I'm just like really into it and lately I don't feel like doing my hair and it's just like easy and it just happens to work it's like I think I'm not gonna wear a beret and then I like walk in there and I'm like girl you would look good with a beret on and so it just it happens it's really bad I'm in the mood for lots of jokes today so get your tea and let's let's hang out this tea is really good it's Earl Grey I need a little boost a little pick-me-up something not too crazy coffee be a bit much I'm like not drinking as much co coffee as I typically do unless I go to a coffee shop and so this is tasty crap my nose was itching I just scratched them like I don't want to get makeup on my new clothes that would be a serious serious offense so um going into this I found so many good things. I feel like I had such great luck with finding things, which I just think that maybe, you know, the thrifting lords really wanted me to like find things because it was great. Your girl found lots of goodies. So the majority of things I want to show you are going to be tops, which, you know, that's okay. I think they're really easy to sell. I went to two stores. I actually thought I was supposed to be going, I was going to originally go to Salvation Army because on Wednesdays, I feel like I've said this so many times on different blogs. On Wednesdays at Salvation Army, they always have 50% off of shoes and clothing. So I always go there as much as I can on Wednesdays just to replenish things because this stuff is already like super reasonably priced as is. And so when you go on a 50% off day, it's like winning the jackpot. Like it's amazing. So, excuse me. Um, I got this, this shirt first that I'm going to show you. It's just like a basic, like little uh, Mickey Mouse t-shirt. Um, super basic. I like it because it's oversized. I usually get all of my t-shirts from the men's section at Salvation Army because typically they're anywhere from like um, $1.99 to like 
$2.99 and so half off that means they're anywhere from like a dollar for me to buy or you know a dollar fifty which is amazing so I love this shirt I think it'll work really well in my shop and I think that I can you know price it reasonably because my markup is kind of like triple whatever I originally paid for it so I'm probably gonna start this off since I got it for like a dollar at like five dollars just because I feel like t-shirts shouldn't be super expensive and like the shipping is already like four dollars because I used to use USPS and I think this is about worth it it's in really good condition super cool little graphic I love the rib detail here and here so super cool I'm actually gonna show you a little bit later um, how I would wear it so we're gonna do that awesome also I realized I'm in a super time crunch because the Sun is gonna be setting soon it's like four o'clock and so I'm just like oh no I just kind of postponed this too much okay for the second item I found this also at Salvation Army. It was kind of one of those things that I didn't think I was gonna find because I was like in the store and I was like, I need to hurry up because I was on a super intense time limit, kind of like I am now. And that's just kind of my life, actually. What am I talking about? I'm always in a time crunch. I'm always running around with my head cut off like, <gasps> not enough time. Um, anyways, found this awesome printed shirt. It's like little vases, so strange. So cool though. I love it. I love the color combination. I like the little buttons. The buttons are super cool. I like the pocket detail. There's a pocket here. The buttons are kind of like an iridescent, almost like mother of pearl shine to them. So I just think it's amazing. It's an amazing condition. I think this will be so fun to style. Partially why I bought it. So I'm like, this is a wacky print. I would love to style this, which I'll show you later. An item that I kind of want to see what it looks like with that I bought also at the thrift store that I think would be kind of a cool wacky print on print combo. This item here is, oh, let me go back. I'm sorry. I forgot to tell you the price point. I did really bad on that. So this is a Barry Bricken. Oh, and this is silk. The most important thing. This is 100% silk. How come I didn't tell you guys that? Silk is like my ultimate favorite. Oh my gosh, my cat is playing with this thing while I'm doing this. Not gonna happen. We'll just wait to see if she does it again because that's loud. It's like a bottle cap. We give her bottle caps, which is like probably bad, but whatever. And she's being so loud with it. Like I don't want to steal her joy, but I'm trying to film a video here, girl. And she's like throwing it because she thinks I want to come help her. No, ma'am. And now she's just resting. Good kitty. Good kitty. So anyways, this is a 100% silk shirt. I got it for, so it was originally $5.99, so it was $3, and I think that I can, like, sell this for at least $15. It's amazing. Like, for summer, girl, yes. For now, girl, yes. There's so many cool ways to style this. Um, the third item I got was this amazing, I love, let's, let's just talk about this first. I love velvet so much. And I love velvet and like interesting color combinations. And I think this is so cool because it's kind of a mix between a mustard, a camel, and like a like a tan. I love it. Feels so good. It's so supple and soft. It's like some long, luxurious hair. That's how I like to think of my tassels, like an extension of hair. Since my hair is shorter, I just do this, play with them. More hair. Anyways, back to this. So this is a white stag. I think it's like, it's it's gotta be like vintage. You can just tell by the white stags. Tags don't really come like this now. I mean, maybe it's not, I don't know. But it's amazing and it was $4. So I got this for two. I'll probably sell this for probably like eight. Something I do that's a little bit different from other Depop sellers is that I refresh my items like every other day or so. And so um, I'll start off at the price that I think I can get it sold at. And then I'll kind of go lower as I see, if I see that it's not really moving. And then also what's really cool about Depop, it's different from Poshmark, I think at least. I mean, Poshmark may have adopted this policy is that the hashtag system on Depop is way more prevalent. Poshmark, you don't really do hashtags. Depop, it brings, I mean, it can bring a lot of traffic to your items. And so I do that a lot. I've been featured on an explore page several times for my items. So I think that's really exciting. That's kind of what, like, I was like, okay, hey, I'm doing pretty good at this. I've had way more success on Depop in such a short amount of time. And I feel like I've been on Poshmark for quite some time and had little success. But at the same time, I think that just speaks to, if you're interested in reselling, 
there's just a little tidbit of advice. You really want to think about the market that you are selling on. For me, I'm way more invested in the style of the garment like rather than the brand name itself. And so Poshmark is very brand name driven. There's a lot of sellers that are making bank on there because they are focusing on specific types of brands. And I feel like Depop is better for me because people are looking for these styles. They're looking for how I'm pairing this together and the way I style it has such a huge impact on its success rate in selling and people liking it and get sent, like, you know, sending me messages about it and asking like, okay, what are the dimensions and asking these questions, which I also try to navigate that because if you're just very open and give all the information you can on the front end it really does help later because you don't have to a answer all these questions about specific details of things that you may have stowed away like for me i have all my stuff in a closet so sometimes it's a little bit of trouble but i'm like at the end of the day i want to make that sell so of course i'm going to go back and figure that out for you but um if you just you know do the measurements ahead of time especially with bags people always want measurements for bags um, especially if they're backpacks because there's usually students that are trying to see how big it is if it's not a standard size backpack to see if they can fit like their school supplies in it um, top pants people do want also measurements typically for so I mean you can just kind of if you're not a person that has any kind of sewing background you can google it that's the beauty of this world today you can google anything if you desire to know it you can know that is so amazing and I feel like you should just never take that for granted. You should always just Google it if you have any qualms or questions about it. So, ah, you guys, the sun is setting really fast. So we're gonna turbo speed this up. So next item, move this here. I got, I actually had this on my Depop, um, uh, like maybe when I first, so this next item I have, I've actually found it and thrifted it before in the past. It's basically the Star Wars t-shirt, super cute. People really love this. It's super cool. The graphic is just very, it's like a retro vibe without actually being retro. I think this one's actually from, excuse me. I don't know where it is from, but it's, it is a newer like made t-shirt, but it's super cool. It has this awesome like heathered quality to it. It's a 2X. So, you know, it's really cool because people like to wear their shirts oversized. And also it just has a huge range of versatility as far as who's going to buy it because I can have anywhere from a person that is like an extra small to a 2x buy it which is great because that means more sellers yay so I bought this um for four dollars well sorry it was originally priced for four dollars half off that's two so I think I'm gonna try to sell this one starting around like six dollars maybe so I was really excited about that one and I again will show you guys all of these items styled with outfits on I may not necessarily style them and take pictures of them specifically how I have them on camera but I will show you what those look like you know what now that I'm thinking about this I should probably just do that after I take the picture in them I don't wanna okay this item here I so just a little disclaimer I may be slightly obsessed with like athletic looking collared shirts that are kind of like preppy but with like a little bit of edge to them so this shirt is that and it's white I have an obsession with the knits also if you guys don't know I love knitted everything I don't surprise I don't have a knit on today mainly because I'm just sitting in the house so I just put this casual outfit on like full disclaimer I know my outfit would not work outside of my apartment because it is you know cold it looks like it's fine but it's not it's it's kind of chilly so um this one is a, a madame moda moda knitwear and it's actually made in the u.s super cool it's in really good condition it's definitely vintage it has like these really cool cabled details that are just like very subtle and i just love the contrast of the blue trim detail here and then also it has detail here, which I think is super cool. And then all the way around the bottom of the hem. I'm doing a horrible job of holding this. Let me <laughs> open this up so you can kind of see the side detail. Super cute. I love it so much. It's still in really great condition. The thing about things like this is you really want to just kind of like look over them so much. Like I check the armpits. All of the like color is the same. It doesn't look faded or yellowed. And another, I like detail that I really love also are these little metal shank buttons. Let me just fold this up so I can show you guys. 
Another really cool thing about thrifting and getting vintage items is looking at the tags. The tags on these items are so interesting because they can range from anything. And it's even more interesting when you like regularly shop and you find the same type, you find items from the same like brand and you can see how their tags change over time. But I think this is a pretty cool little tag. And I just, I think this item is like 10 out of 10 amazing. So as far as a price point, I got this one for, so it was regular, regularly $6 and I got it for three. So I'm obsessed with this. I think I'm gonna try to sell this for like 20, 15. I'm gonna like, of course, um, I'm giving you prices here because I think it's just kind of helpful if you're interested in selling things on Depop. But um, I always try to look up comps as well. So I look up online on eBay, other different websites that resell things like Macari, um, Depop of course to see items that are similar to this. Specifically, I try to start with the brand, the specific item and describe it as well as I can in Google. And then I refine my search terms depending on what I get back. But yeah, always, always, always look up to see how much it's selling for. And if it's not selling for something, if I can't find it at all, I typically try to find something that's similar and then price mine accordingly or just go off based off of my knowledge and what I've seen sell in my history of reselling. Because like before I sold on Depop and Poshmark, I also sold things um on etsy which it was very brief um i mainly had handmade items in the end on there and then also i used to sell um handmade and vintage um thrifted things at a flea market when i lived in arkansas which those were some of the best times of my life i love that flea market so much oh my gosh so um i hope you guys like to chat because i just didn't like whoa, 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 whoa. anyways um this next item was one of my first items I found. And I found it at the first thrift store, which I thought was the Salvation Army, but it was not. Somehow I like typed in Laurel Thrift Center and then suddenly I was there and I was like getting ready to vlog about it. And I was like, oh, I'm at, no, I'm not at Salvation Army. I'm at Laurel Thrift Center. But I found this item and I absolutely adore it. I love rainbow striped sweaters like I feel like Depop people love it too and so I'm super excited about this I'm even more excited to try this on and style it I think I'm going to do a beret look with this I'm definitely going to um I think I'm gonna do I have this amazing purple beret that's like lilac I'm definitely gonna do that one so super excited about styling this it's gonna be amazing my cat keeps giving me eyes like she's like doing some crazy stuff there like Girl, get it together. Um, I'm gonna go get some more tea. I just like drank my whole cup and I'm gonna go get some more. I'm just like in a tea mood. Um, we're almost done. I just have like one more top and then two pairs of bottoms and then one dress. So stay tuned, guys. Y'all, I got some more tea. Woo. I'm like super hyped on this tea right now. It's like a little crazy. I don't know why. I really should have like, I need to eat soon. So I'm trying to like. Yeah, I don't know. I'm rambling. Also, I realize in these videos I look really tired. I need to like just like open my eyes. I haven't been sleeping much because I've been like super immersed in creating content for you guys, which means that I get a little crazy. And sometimes I don't do what I'm supposed to do. But today, on a random tangent while I'm drinking my tea, you should drink yours too if you got some. Um, I did spend some time reading today, which is great because I feel as though in the last like few years I've really been neglecting that part of myself I am very much an avid like learner I love to learn and just constantly be in taking lots of different um, information and so I really do miss reading and I realize reading has a lot to do with like our development as people in general and I feel like I haven't you know given myself the time and the respite to just stop and read so I did that today and it was amazing and I'm also today I'm going to um, have a moment to stretch because Jonathan and I started this like workout which I'm so embarrassed because I realized that I have like no muscles and I also realized that obviously I never learned how to do a crunch properly because like part of like the routine we do just to get our body like conditioned to start going to the gym like I couldn't do it Jonathan's like do a crunch and I'm like I can't and so he's like just so he's just like such a sweet amazing man but um he was like trying to show me how to and it was just kind of like crazy 
But I mean, I get it. It's like if you don't, I've never really been a person that like, I mean, I've had my stint in college where I was like, okay, I'm going to work out. I'm going to do this. But it was never something that was like super, like the form and everything. You can really mess up if no one actually like trained you the correct way to do things. So I did not do a crunch. I can do a sit up, but I can't do a crunch. And I, so these muscles, they don't exist. The muscles to do the crunch. And I was just like struggling. So my body has been sore, which at the same time is very like humbling. Not that I ever thought that I had like a lot of muscle, but it's just funny because people often tell me that they think that I look like I'm in shape and athletic, but I'm actually not like that strength that I thought I have. I don't, which I'm excited to get to that journey to be able to do these things. So I see where I am now. And even, you know, this will be our third day doing the workout routine. I know it won't be as bad as like the first day or the second day. The second day was horrible. I just was like, I don't want to do this. Why? But yeah, I got things all over me that I didn't even know existed. Like, I'm like, Jonathan, my ribs hurt. <laughs> Not my ribs. They're just the muscles on, t well, the lack of muscles on top of my ribs. So I am taking a new journey and just a little snippet of how my 2018 is going and me trying to set intentions to you know make myself a better version of myself because as again as a person that suffers from depression I think it's really helpful for me to be doing things to like constantly nurture my body and also my mind reading is for my mind and just stimulating me I need to be stimulated in more ways and just creating and also I find that these things that I do to like nurture myself will also have such a great impact on the content that I can share with you guys so yeah, are you guys, do you guys have any like really like cool intentions or any intentions that you're like struggling with or what's your journey been like? I really want to start this conversation because I find that sharing is so helpful because when you have a conversation, you learn things that you didn't even know about. Like all the time. I learn things all the time and I'm just astounded by how many things there are to learn out in this world. So yeah, just a little chitter chatter. Um, let me get back to the haul. So I have one more shirt to show you. That was two. One. One more shirt to show you. Um, this is another velvet shirt because I love me some velvet. Whoa, I just had this thing all collapse on me. One moment. Okay. So this a velvet shirt is amazing. It's actually not labeled. It doesn't have a brand on it, which I think is fine. But it's like super soft like butter. It's amazing. I like it because it's like a chocolate, like cocoa brown. I love it. Um, super cute, little short sleeve, little velvet shirt. It's amazing. It's in really good condition. Um, I think someone would absolutely adore, like love this. I think this would be really fun to style as well. Okay, so that is it. Oh wait, no, no, let me go back. Which I just realized, oh, guys, I suck. I did not give you the price point on this shirt. So this, let me go back, rewind. This shirt is, was only $2.98. Actually, it was 30% off of that. So even less, like really, really, really cheap. Um, I'll let you do the math for that. I'm better at doing math for like half off. Those are like easier price points. This one is also $2.98 and it was regular price, but I had a coupon. Um, I had a coupon from the last time I went to this thrift store that I bought that at. And so I got the percentage is off plus an additional this stuff doesn't matter you'll see it in my other vlog I'm not gonna keep rambling on about that okay so on a change of type of item I got this really cool dress for eight dollars actually it was half off eight dollars it's super cool kind of kind of crazy it has like this crazy um, ribbed striped red and navy neckline and then also has it on the sleeves i just thought this was so quirky and weird i just kind of had to buy it i don't know if this is more of like sometimes i buy things and i'm like this is a risk but i'm like willing to take it and figure out if i can style it and sell it to someone i absolutely love these crazy 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 things that i'm like who would wear that i don't really know but i want to find that person and i want to sell this to them so I don't know we'll see this is I think it's actually intended to be like a sleep dress but I think it would be really cool to like sell this and then layer maybe like another dress on top of it so it'd work really well for like winter I don't know why am I doing this
that was ridiculous okay so I think this would be really cool to layer another dress on top of this and you could put some leggings underneath with some cool kick-ass boots and you are ready for the season and then like in summer I mean not really you in summer and then you can wear it to bed you know I don't know I think it could be cool okay the next two items are jackets so got this amazing Chico's jacket for four dollars and ninety eight cents you guys what's so crazy is I'm so like used to doing this I get really cheap with stuff so like I'm like when I get like really good deals I get like to the point where I'm like if it's this over this a certain amount I'm not going to buy it I just realized I said like a lot I say like a lot I'm so annoying anyways I love love me a good denim jacket so this one is absolutely amazing so I think this is real like suede yep it's real it's real leather yep 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 so it has a really cool leather collar and then on the back look at that statement beautiful and then it has like all these beautiful like little fringy pieces and there's all this beautiful embroidery there there then we have this awesome like welt pocket here that looks amazing and then it zips down with also more of that little tasseled suede leather trimming and then also i just really like this little whip stitch that is used to attach it this is just a really amazing jacket i love it so much it has a good weight to it just feels good i can't wait to style it on top of some things in the pictures for depop and it was only four dollars 98 cents it's amazing and again it's like an extra large which means that i can sell it from anywhere from like an extra small to an extra large and then you know if some people like it to fit a little snugger you can it just has a lot of variety it's great then this jacket i adore, adore. i love anything with like faux fur i'm just like that person that just loves the drama so i, I especially love this because it's like white it's just super cute um, I even kind of like the crop nature of it. Usually I'm not a super cropped fan, but I think this is going to be so cute for pictures. I am somewhat, I know the vibe that I'm feeling for styling this. Not so sure about exactly the pieces, but I know the feeling I'm trying to create. I want it to be kind of like a grungy, prep, flossy fairy look, if that rings any bells. I realize that sounds like bat shit to a lot of people, but... If you understand, you know what I mean. You know what I'm going for. I can't even read what this brand is. But I got this one for $3.98. Super excited. Super cute. Has amazing rib detail here. And then at the bottom. Super cute. Okay, guys. Only have two more items. I almost did this. Whoop. Kitty. My cat wants up here so bad. For the last two items, I have bottoms so i have this awesome skirt i'm obsessed with plaid skirts it's a really good length i think it'd be really fun to style and like grungeify rockify whatever i'm making up all these words you know what i mean um i just realized it's missing a button which i mean it's a pretty simple fix so i'll fix that it's really cool this tag is like freaking awesome it's like little trees on it i hope you can see that super cute i love it and it has like this pleat in it super awesome love 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 it it's like lightweight um i think i don't know what i was gonna say but this is the one that i was thinking could be really cool maybe sort of kind of not <laughs> with um this crazy shirt which i'm like maybe now that i say that it's kind of insane kind of crazy i know i know i know and i got this skirt for six dollars so that was three bucks three bucks well spent I love it and last but not least I have these Levi um, vintage jeans which I don't know I mean I know people like Levi's are like the holy grail of like like vintage stuff and I just know nothing about it so this should be fun trying to price and trying to figure out they're super cute they're like little mom jeans, as they say, um, and they're in really great condition. So um, my friend Courtney is coming over tomorrow, so hopefully, um, which won't be tomorrow when I post this, probably be the day of. But anyways, I'm going to probably pick her brain a little bit about that because I have no idea about pricing, Levi's at all. But they're in really good condition, and I got them for $9.99, which means that they were like 4 
$4.50. Yeah, $4.50 whenever I got them for half off. So super nice, really good, look amazing. There's like one small, small, small slight stain. But yeah, um, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys what these items look like on. I mean, I think all these will fit. I'm interested to see what these, how these Leroy's are gonna fit because um, they're like a size 27 waist. So we'll see. We'll make it work. Make it work, make it work. Let's go.